Afghanistan, security and economic development. This is a theme for today's conference that has gathered the international experts from US, Europe, Asia, and of course, representatives of the de facto government of Afghanistan. On July 26th, the capital of Uzbekistan convened an international conference, Afghanistan, Security and Economic Development, that aimed at strengthening the Afghan economy, policy, and regional security. Uzbekistan, as a close neighbor of this war-torn country, particularly wishes for Afghanistan's integration into interregional economic processes, promotion of infrastructure projects, and long-lasting stability. The conference was attended by over 100 representatives from more than 20 countries who also welcomed the delegation of the interim government of Afghanistan, led by the acting foreign minister Amir Khan Muttaki. Abdulaziz Kamilov, Deputy Secretary of the Presidential Security Council for Foreign Policy and Security Issues, relayed Shavkat Mirziyoyev's address to the participants of the event. After Vladimir Norov, the acting foreign minister of Uzbekistan had given an opening speech. In his address, President Mirziyoyev noted that the Uzbek and Afghan peoples lived side by side for thousands of years and are united by common cultural, religious and historical values. Uzbek president also particularly called upon the interim government of Afghanistan to break ties with all the international terrorist organizations. We call on the current government of Afghanistan to demonstrate the strong will and take decisive measures to prevent and counter terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. We call them to break ties with all international terrorist organizations. This will help to strengthen confidence in the government, open up real positive prospects for the sustainable development of Afghanistan and eventually establish mutually beneficial cooperation with its immediate environment and the international community, the president said in his statement. We remember how everyone used to talk about ending the war in Afghanistan. Today, we are talking about the reconstruction of Afghanistan and the strengthening of its economy. We want peace with all countries. We promise that there would be no threats to other countries from the territory of Afghanistan. We have fulfilled all our promises. We are ready to establish relations with all countries based on mutual respect. We call on the United States to unconditionally unfreeze all assets of Afghanistan. This will have a very positive impact on the life and development of the Afghan people. Special Envoy on Afghan Affairs of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China, Yue Xiaoyong, noted the need to return the frozen assets of the Afghan people. We believe, international society uh, believe there is no reason uh, that the United States uh, should do that. That was uh, uh, the assets or the money of Afghan people. Uh, it shouldn't be frozen for any reason for uh, another country, for the United States, just uh, upon uh, Afghanistan uh, like that. So uh, we have been calling on the uh, United States to unfreeze uh, these assets and uh, lift the unilateral uh, sanctions against Afghanistan in this uh, very difficult time for Afghanistan. We international, in international community, we see uh, the phenomenon that on the one hand, we all agree that Afghanistan is in bad need for assistance, for international help, for their humanitarian crisis, and that they have suffered from 20 years outside uh, occupation uh, by United States and NATO, and, and uh, all this, uh, and they left, and they, they leave all these sufferings, and the international community should come uh, to help the Afghanistan out of those crises. We would like to work with the neighboring countries and the Central Asia to see uh, how all of the, those countries 
not only Afghanistan, uh, to have the opportunity uh, to, do, to go ahead with it. Yeah, I very much appreciate uh, our host, and I should take this opportunity to thank uh, Uzbekistan. This meeting is very positive, and uh, they bring all these uh, countries here uh, in, this, in this right time when the attention, the awareness of the issue is webbing, is ebbing. And we should really raise the tide. Meanwhile, Russia, China's close ally, has also supported Afghanistan's demands for the return of the seven billion US dollar asset frozen by the United States. This was stated at the conference by the special representative of the president of the Russian Federation for Afghanistan, Zamir Kabulov. Although the issue of unfreezing money and helping the Afghan people was met positively, the representatives of the international community emphasized some requirements that must be fulfilled by the Taliban. Previously, Norov called on the Afghan side to take effective measures to meet the basic requirements of the international community as soon as possible, including the creation of a government based on broad representation, respect for the rights of women and national minorities, and ensuring girls' access to full-fledged schooling. Head of the third political department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Afghanistan, Zokir Jaloli, spoke about the situation with the gender issue in the country. Uzbekistan is our neighboring country. We have a common interest. Uh, uh, Afghanistan can play uh, a good role in connecting Uzbekistan to South Asia and uh, also Uzbekistan can play a good role in connecting Afghanistan to Central Asia. So we hope uh, uh, from Uzbekistan to play uh, a good role in normalizing our relations with the world as Uzbekistan is playing a very constructing role, constructive role in this regard and it's very uh, appreciable for the new uh, Afghanistan government. We have uh, two main infrastructure projects with Uzbekistan. First is the railway project between Uzbekistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan. And recently, uh, the relevant authorities of the three countries, they have had a very good discussions in this regard. And in the near f future, its feasibility study will also be conducted. Uzbek side also touched upon the infrastructure and assured that Afghanistan will receive full support in its projects. So what is the benefit for Uzbekistan from this conference? Yes, first of all, it's a social stability, security, and of course, economic prosperity of the neighboring country that will link Central Asian states to South Asia via Trans-Afghan Railway. Afghanistan's central bank reserves, they are not for spending. They are reserves. They are actually supporting our currency. Uh, and uh, whether it's banned or it's unfreezing, the new government is not planning to use or spend these money in any other aspect. Uh, it's very, I think, very obvious and very understandable that these money are not there for, for, for spending in any, any aspect. Uh, we appreciate the Chinese position, the Russians' position, that they ask the United States to unfreeze uh, the, and the Afghanistan central bank assets. And it's one of the reasons for poverty and for economic issues in Afghanistan. We appreciate the humanitarian assistance with Afghan people, but this is not the ultimate solution. The ultimate solution is taking certain steps to let the Afghan economy to stand on its own and to, to operate. That's the only solution for, for, for standing Afghanistan on its, on its own. The sides ultimately agreed to extend the start date of the construction of the Suhan Puli Kumri power line in Afghanistan until August 31st by revising the formation of trans-regional transport, energy and other corridors. Meanwhile, Afghanistan also confirmed its obligation not to harbor or allow terrorist organizations to use its territory against the security interests of other countries.